Assalamu alaikum dear students Now we have another topic that is we discuss it the habitat now there is niche or ecological niche ecological niche ecological niche Now it is a French term it is a French term niche Nisher means recess in wall. Recess in wall. That is an organism. What, how it eats, what it eats, where it lives. That is called as recess. As at your school, there is lunch period. There is recess. That is also called as recess period. So. You may have got it. It is recess in wall. That means within the habitat, it has to eat. It has to find its food. It has to play its role. That we call as niche. And this term has been given by Josp. Term has been given by Josp <coughs> Grinnell. Jos Grinnell in 1917. This term has been put forth by the scientist Jos Grinnell in 1917. It is simply defined as the vital role, vital role of of an organism in its habitat, in its habitat or environment. in its habitat or environment the vital role played by an organism in its habitat or environment it is called it is niche in other words it means the total interaction it means the total interaction total interaction of species interaction of species with its environment total interaction of species with its environment or its functional role its functional position or status or role position or status in an ecosystem in an ecosystem or habitat that means how it interacts with other species how it gets its food how it protects itself from the enemies it is collectively called as the ecological niche of a species or ecological niche of an organism so it is a specific part of habitat it is a specific part of habitat part of habitat specific part of habitat ek habitat mein ek hissa hota hai ye utilized by an organism utilized by an organism which represents the range of conditions range of conditions range of conditions it can tolerate it can tolerate the resources it utilizes the resources it utilizes कौन से रिसोर्सेज यूज करता है कौन से कंडीशन में ये रहता है एंड फंक्शनल रोल फंक्शनल रोल इट प्लेस इन इट इज हैबिटेट और इकोसिस्टम इस इकोसिस्टम में इसका रोल क्या है फॉर एग्जांपल इज इट ए प्रोड्यूसर इज इट ए हर्बिवोर 
इट इज ए कार्निवोर इट इज ए ओमनिवोर और इट इज ए डिकम्पोजर दैट इज अ रोल एंड हाउ इट यूटिलाइज इट इज रिसोर्सिस वायर फ्राम इट वायर फ्राम इट गेन इज इट इज फूड इट अचीव इज इट इज फूड इट सर्च इज इट इज फूड and what conditions it can tolerate and how it can protect itself from its enemies the whole scenario is called as it is ecological niche now there was charles elton in 1927 charles elton in 1927 defined ecological niche ecological niche as he proposed that ecological niche refers to animals place animals place in the biotic environment animals place in the biotic environment and it is relation to its food it is relation to its food and enemies and enemies and it is functional role in the ecosystem charles elton in 1927 defined ecological niche as the animals place in the biotic environment and it is relation it is relation to its food and enemies and it is role functional role in an ecosystem so whatever an organism does in its habitat or environment or ecosystem it is said to be its ecological niche there is ep odum in 1956 has differentiated differentiated habitat and ecological niche by saying that habitat is the address habitat is the address address of an organism and then niche is the profession of an organism profession of an organism i may explain it so this ecological niche jo hai it is also called as way of life way of life that in what style an organism organism goes through its life for example i can quote here the habitat and niche last time i have also quoted this example as aap beta le lo kahin se ek hi locality mein ek doctor ek teacher ek post mein rehta hai teen houses hain inke side by side ek locality mein rehte hain फॉर इंस्टेंस वो पापोर में एक जगह रहते हैं एक ही जगह रहते हैं दैट इज एक डॉक्टर है एक टीचर है और एक पोस्टमैन है तीनों एक ही जगह रहते हैं अलग अलग इनके हाउसेस हैं एंड एज द डे स्टार्ट जब सूरज निकलेगा तो टीचर में प्रिपेयर दिस लेसन इज फॉर टीचिंग इन द स्कूल वो स्कूल जाएगा उसके बाद डॉक्टर इट ऑल्सो प्रिपेयर्स इट सेल्फ टू सीट्स पेशेंट्स वो हॉस्पिटल जाएगा 
लाइकवाइज द पोस्टमैन बी सुबह जाके पोस्ट ऑफिस जाएगा टू कलेक्ट एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूट द लेटर्स और एनी अदर वर्क तो इनका एड्रेस सेम हो गया दैट मीन्स दैट इज देयर हैबिटेट ये एक ही जगह रहते हैं ये हो गया इनका हैबिटेट दैट इज हैबिटेट इज इट इज एड्रेस बट निश इज द प्रोफेशन प्रोफेशन मीन्स डॉक्टर प्लेज अ रोल इन इट्स कम्युनिटी इट इज इट इज निश ए टीचर प्लेज इट्स रोल इन इट इज कम्युनिटी इट इज इट इज निश एंड ए पोस्टमैन ऑल्सो प्लेज इट्स रोल इन द कम्युनिटी दैट इज हिज निश सो these three have the same address but they may have the different niches i hope that you may have understood that now this ecological niche has three aspects ecological niche jo hai it has three aspects ecological niche has three aspects there is one that is called as special or special और हैबिटेट निश हैबिटेट निश इट डिनोट्स द एक्चुअल फिजिकल स्पेस इट डिनोट्स द एक्चुअल फिजिकल स्पेस ऑक्युपाइड बाय एन ऑर्गेनिज्म दैट इज नेस्टिंग एंड अदर अदर requirements there is another that is called as trophic niche trophic niche or it is also called as the food niche food niche it denotes the functional position of an organism in the habitat or ecosystem it denotes the functional functional position of an organism in its habitat or ecosystem that is it is quoted as what it eats what it eats and what eats it and what eats it what it eats and what eats it ye kya khata hai aur isko kon khata hai ya ye kya food कैसे हासिल करता है और ये किसका फूड बनता है थर्ड वन इज देयर हाइपर वॉल्यूम हाइपर वॉल्यूम और मल्टीफैक्टर निश इसको बोलते हैं मल्टीफैक्टर निश इट रेफर्स टू द पोजिशन ऑफ एन ऑर्गेनिज्म in the environmental gradients or variables in the environmental gradients or variables ye kaun si jagah par ha ye kaun si jagah occupy karta hai ek habitat mein ya ek uh, ecosystem mein and there is an example to explain this there was a scientist his name was o'neil in 1967 he reported seven different species of millipedes small insects seven species of millipedes in forest floor of a maple oak tree near the maple oak tree all found in the same habitat they all the species were found in the same habitat that is forest floor and belong to same trophic level that is all decomposing decomposing the decomposing the litter that means they were all the composers but they decompose or feed in different decomposing layers of litter and occupying different microhabitats in same 
जनरल हैबिटेट सो लिविंग डिफरेंट स्पेशल निशेज तो इन्होंने ऑर्गेनिक मैटर में ऐसे है इतना थिक है ऑर्गेनिक मैटर इतना थिक है एंड दे हैव चूज इन डिफरेंट लेयर्स इन दिस दिस इज द सरफेस ऑफ द फॉरेस्ट एंड दिस इज द लिटर और ऑर्गेनिक मैटर दैट हैज बीन डिपॉजिटेड ऑन द सरफेस एंड इट हैज मेड डिफरेंट लेयर्स एंड दीज लेयर्स हैव बीन ऑक्यूपाइड बाय दीज सेवन स्पीशीज नो डाउट दे आर इन द सेम हैबिटेट बट दे हैव ऑक्यूपाइड द डिफरेंट निशेज and you have to remember that a species may change its niche with age or season a species may change its niche a species may change its niche with age or season for example there is frog it is herbivore it is herbivore as a tadpole as a tadpole it is herbivore but while it is a carnivore when it is an adult that means it has changed its it changes its niche from one stage of life cycle to another stage and you have to remember there is no two species no two species can occupy the same niche can occupy the same niche no two species can occupy the same niche in a habitat ek hi habitat mein do species reh sakti hain but they must have the different niches no two species with the same niche can occupy same niche in a habitat however number of species however number of species can live can live in the same habitat can live in the same habitat but with separate niche separate niches that means a number of species can live in the same habitat but must have the different niches and you have to know no two species can have the same niche in a habitat and this if two species in a habitat have the same niche if two species in a habitat can have the same niche there would be competition competition for space competition for food etc and only one can survive and other is eliminated and usually stronger one stronger one jo hai that survives and there is the weaker one jo hai weaker one get eliminated eliminated and this was called as gossis exclusion principle gossis exclusion principle usko bolte hain that no two species can have the same niche in a habitat if the two species living in the same habitat have the same niche there occurs the competition for space food etc and the stronger one survives and that can kill or remove or inhabit the weaker one and that gets eliminated it is called as gossis exclusion principle or it is also called as principle of competitive exclusion and there is an example of example of water bugs there is a water bug that is called as water bugs there is notonecta 
notonecta it is called as the commonly called as back swimmer back swimmer and corexa c o r i x a corexa it is also a water bug it is called as water boatman water boatman these are two water bugs live in shallow edges of ponds but occupy different niches these live in shallow edges of ponds but occupy different niches the former that is this former this one earlier one it is a predator this one is a predator predator while as it feeds on insects tadpoles snails etc while as the later one that is this one corexa it is a scavenger it is a scavenger so these can have the same habitat corexa and notonecta but they prefer the two different niches and lastly we have ecological equivalents ecological equivalents ecological equivalents are the organisms occupying same type of niches all the organisms occupying the same types of niches but different habitats at different times different habitats at different times different times is for example there are cats and owls they feed on rats and shrews rats and shrews they have the same niche food niche they have the same food niche but cats eh, they they are in the search of food during day and owls are in the search of food during nights that means if they have the same niches but they have at different habitats and different times these are said to be these cats and owls these organisms are said to be ecological equivalents and this is a very important question associated with this and you have to differentiate between ecological niche and habitat ecological niche and habitat you have to differentiate the, these and there is the ecological <coughs> this ecological niche jo hai it refers to the functional role or important role functional role which an organism plays in its habitat and it is a specific area specific area or space or dwelling place where a species lives where a species lives there is number 2 it does not have components it does not have components while as a habitat may have number of niches number of niches may occur in the same habitat it supports a single species it supports a single species that means a species can only live in a niche here habitat supports a number of species it supports a number of it supports a number of species there is another one that there are specific set of 
specific set of environmental variables environmental variables and here are number of variables number of variables or gradients in the environment or habitat in a habitat and lastly a species may change its niche a species may change its niche may change its niche with age or season however generally usually the species does not change their habitat usually the habitat does not change does not change does not change it is a very important question from examination point of view difference between ecological niche and habitat